Hi, welcome back. I'm Brain Error, and today we are continuing Horizon Zero Dawn. And I've decided to just continue with the main quest. I think I'm strong enough to do the one in Sunfall. So this is the area that I told you about that I had actually looked at before. Um, I think they're probably gonna notice me real quick. Um, but Sunfall is down that road. Whoa, I'm just gonna run. You attack me another day, my little dudes. No, 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 no. So yeah, this is the road to Sunfall, and um, when I was here the first time around, when I was leveling up, just doing odds and pieces and bits and pieces and odds and ends, that's what I wanted to say. Um, Okay. Um, this is where I ended up and uh, Silence told me not to go there. Oh yeah, and that is the uh, tall neck that I did at the time. Very cool. It was very hard to get to. It was surrounded by enemies. But yeah, Sunfall. Not been there yet. So it's gonna be interesting. And I find it funny that I have to go back here regardless of having tried to avoid it. Who the fuck are you? And it's probably gonna be a lot of fighting. A lot of chaos. A lot of stuff. I see a fox in the desert. Okay. Excuse me? Trampler. Oh, that's that noise. I thought I saw another medicinal bush. Need all the help I can get, I think. Campfire. No, don't need you. Excuse me? Oh, hi. I don't want a rock. I would like this campfire, though. A yaws? I'm gonna stay off the road, just in case. I wonder how many people I need to kill in Sunfall. No enemies nearby? Sunfall. The Mad King Duran Summer Palace. Right. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling forbidden west. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, wait. They won't know I'm the enemy because he disabled... He disabled the- or we dis- mm -hmm. I disabled- not he, god, he did nothing. I disabled shit. Sunlight always reminds me of who I am. Alright. No matter what happens. So I can just walk around. Nice! I, I thought I was ready for a fight, but I don't have to yet. Alright, let's talk to this dude that needs help. In the slums. Hello, slum man. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. That shit. Her name is Shiana. My sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. Oh. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. Same world around. He's difficult. His soul is in shadow. Hmm. His soul is in shadow. Galif. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. 
Oh. Another border battle. I tell you, for a little more food, Aww. I do whatever work these outlanders are doing and more. You know the worst part? It's not the hunger or the. That's really sad. So they're refugees. So they have to live in squalor, as always. Go to the citadel courtyard. Okay, great. I will. Hi. Yeah, you greet me now, you little, you little bitch. You don't know who I am, that do you? You're quite tall. Buy what you need. Leave the rest. Oh, we're gonna start that again, are we? Okay, great. Find goods for a fair price. I don't think so. Actually, I do want your treasure box. Thank you. Check out these wares. Um, I will not. But you're refugees as well. Oh, okay. Only the finest goods here. See for okay. yourself. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. I'm going. Oh. Uh oh. An arena. No. The sun ring. The proud tradition of Karja. Stay off my focus. Just catch you. You'll be lucky if you survive long enough to wind up in that ring. Alright. Could barely hear anything because the machine was super loud all of a sudden. Also, I didn't notice these people when I got up here, but whatever. We're going up this way. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. Oh, goody. What are you talking about? Did I crash the network or not? It seemed we all should be well. <sighs> Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. Circulate? Oh. Yes, please. Not that I need it. Oh, oh, I was just gonna say. Oh, that creature's so loud. Hoof it. Hoof it? I am hoof it. Outlanders, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. All right, I'm gonna follow them. Mercenary bottom feeders. I'll take the shards, even if it means having to listen to Bahavas. I hear the Shadow Cards are looking for one of their own. Should mm. pay well. I'm following. I'm a mercenary too. <laughs> Move along. I am moving. Hey. Oh, pretty. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow. Whose will is light, and whose light is law! I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. Uh-oh, not a good thing, kid. He's using you. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Oh, hello. Mm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Oh, is he? We both know you don't kill for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me, while there's still time to save him. Alright. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. For the Kestrels. Right uh, here? Ah, they want us to see this, boy! It makes no quite an impression. Oh, here. This is insane. Hardly. They're going to see me. You underestimate the ease of hiding in plain sight. Hmm. 
Where do I need to go now? The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. What? Get out of my way. If you're gonna watch some slaughter, this is the place to do it. I don't like heights. You worry me, boy. Here? You worry me. Here. Alright. Oh god. What, you're not gonna make me... Oh, you're gonna make me jump? And I'm dead. And I'm dead. You didn't even jump to the spot! Fine. You know what? Fine. Yep. <laughs> I was already going where I needed to. I thought I had to go other up. Side of the tower. Look for a vent. Alright, oh well. I see you've been here before. Obviously. No. It's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. Alright. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Yep. Um, well, we're just gonna do it because... I don't know. What else is there to do? I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A mm. lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the Savage East. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Uh-huh. Open sesame. Oh, for I tend to scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Right. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Oh. I underestimated you. So by now I... Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yep. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. You're so whiny. I love. It. Whoa. Okay, so... Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Oh. Are you really so surprised? Shut up. Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Hmm. What am I hearing? Oh. We need support too. All right. 
Well, I'm getting health, so that's not a good sign. Oh, where do I need to open you? Containment hatch? Oh. Oh, that's this. Wow. Um, how do I open the door? Any guesses? Oh, maybe I'll just touch it anyway. Sometimes I need to activate it, but I think it's already activated. I just need to touch it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. I will not. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Restock or else? Or else what? I'm being geared up for a battle that I don't want to have. I just want to explore. Just let me explore. Uh, that's where I came from, right? Yeah. Okay. Nothing else. Oh, that. Bunker door. Oh, there's another voice jigger. Another like jigger of voice. Soundproofing. Alright. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Oh. Is this uh, viewing room one? What? What was this place? A oh. holographic theater. CD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Oh. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. But it didn't happen. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, Cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out.
life on Earth didn't cease to exist. No. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Also, a thought that I've had... Um, if, if Aloy is not a clone, wouldn't it be funny if Pharaoh was her dad? But I think Aloy is a clone. Still be funny if he was a dad. Or related somehow. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? I don't know. You wanna listen it to it? It is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities. They don't just eat. They feed off the planet. Oh, not just people. Am I done? All organic matter. Or anything dissolves in Millennium of evolution. Stop hitting me. What did they do? That asshole. Is he here? No, doctor. Please. Tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Now, get off! Get off! Don't. Please! You get Ted Pharaoh in here! Okay, there was way too much going on all at the same time. I literally didn't listen to any of that. Except for trying not to die and stop panic pressing buttons I shouldn't. Like, I'm, I'm having a little bit of a day today, so that's why. Come on then. Want to discuss? Oof. So Mama, she was right. Who's Mama? Mama. My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, there was always end times this and the lake of fire that on account of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? Ew. I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey. I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee, conflict cappuccinos. Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. All right, I want to listen to this one. Who previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines? I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since... Since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just... I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work, and... I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but Ted, Ted could really sell a concept and, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. God, there were no limits. Yep, that's the problem. People don't know limits. All right. CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. 
life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Gaia! Mother Nature has an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind. Project Gaia! Each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. Right. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. Right, so it did but happen. Even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisonous right. seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. The whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this. For life. For us. But... Why Hades, then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? And why does it want to kill me? And... Apollo... The Archive of Knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Ah, uh, that made me quite emotional actually, just thinking about the whole world ending. And then everybody sacrificing themselves to be able to rebuild it, but never be part of it. Not directly anyway. That's really terrifying, you know? It, it wouldn't surprise me if that would happen. Not like this way, but like similarly. But it's really cool that Elizabeth um, created robots to help because that's what she started up doing. She made green robots. 
And then, um... I forgot his name again. The guy from Pharaoh. <laughs> he, uh, Ted. He, um, started making peacekeepers, aka warbots, that then went corrupt. So, in, in the end, her green robots rebuild life on Earth. Which is amazing. Make your selection. Ah, oh. oh, God. What a good story, but it's so sad. Counselor guidelines. Right. More health, so I'm guessing more combat coming. Can't be too prepared. Mm. Intruder! Get her! Got someone to Whatever fight you here. do, don't die now. Whatever I do, don't die now. Excuse me. Got a lot of people here. Ah. Whoa! Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm almost dead, I'm almost dead, I'm almost dead. Woo. Can't see where he is. Oh. Where's the other one? Oh, there. Fuck off. by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souve? Christina Souve? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the New Materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in the auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair. Not at all. But for the sake of my family. For the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history. And echo in the future. Not perish into oblivion. This opportunity. I must do this. All right. Travis Tate. Now, those lame FBI black hats and Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. <laughs> I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero dawn? No, ma'am, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural, it'd be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweetie? Here we go. Saw her quota slipping away. Need to find Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching- Okay, I don't care. I don't care what you have to say. You're such an asshole. Right. Cool. If it's Tate again, I'm not listening to him. Hey! I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H-emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. 
I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. Maybe there's a I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want well, it Shut up. Okay, so I can do this one. And then up, and then left, down, right. No! God damn it. Move away from this one. Done. I should check the door nearby. Yeah, but what about this one though? Oh we need a we need a thingy for it. She just said about she was talking through the audio. Oh I can open this now, okay. Nice. Exciting. I wasn't expecting all this. Oh, I need to go up. Whoa, where am I even? Okay. Oh god, my own head scared me then. Oh, I'm above. I mean, I don't really need it, but... Well, I do need it, actually. It's not what I want. What I want is the power source for that. Why did I just hear someone knocking? That's creepy as fuck. Oh, there you go. Looks intact. Yes, come in. Can I jump there? Can I not? There you go. Put it in. Nice. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. No, no. God damn it. Stop crouching. Um is up. Up, right, down, left, up. Up. Right. Down. Is it left? And then up again, right? No? Oh, it was the other way around. Ugh. Come on. No? And then down. Let's see. It might be reverse, because she did say he installed it in reverse, right? That there you go. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Good job, me. Well, yeah, but which door? Oh, over there. Okay. Is there anything here that I needed? No, okay. Oh. This door. Oh, nervy. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. Oh, crap. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Why? 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 Um, I guess I'll just have to kill them. Not intruders. I don't know where the other one is. Where are you? Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. 
God, where did we go? Oh, there. You prostate. Alright. Oh, there's another one. So hard to see. Oh. Fuck off! Ah, I'm stuck. Let me take my fucking potion. Let me move, let me move. Can't see anything. Can you take your potion? It's so dark. No, oh, fuck. see anything in this light. How do I get up there even? Oh shit. Where are you? I can't oh piss off. Area inaccessible. Elevators not operating. Stairwells have collapsed. Oh what the hell have I got? Oh. Not what I wanted. Get out there. Shut the fuck up, you asshole. And dead. Good. Now that one. Come on. Come back. Don't die. That's the last one, I think. I did not vanish. Come on. Oh, come on! Stop walking back and forth, you ass. Where did they go? Here. Uh. Yeah, finally. <laughs> oh, not. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god! Ah, move, move, move! Move, move, move! Move, move, move! Move, move! move. Hello, I'm Margo Shank, and this no, is no. Augustus. As the name might tip you. Oh. Alright, this asshole first. Stops moving when she gets hit, it's very annoying. The music is fucking irritating. Room's clear. Oh, oh moment anyway. You have to find Gaia. Shut the fuck up. Can the music just calm the shit down? Thank you. Fuck. That's very irritating. Irritating for me today, I must say. Like I said, I'm not having a good day today.
It's a bad day and I can be salty yeah, if I enough. want to. You would salt too if this shit happened to you. Anyway, I went into um, the other room and they started talking to me already, so... There's no there's no health potions this time around. Can I go all the way back to get those that I can take? And um, was there anything else in here that I needed? Yeah, it's so nice to see all these symbols now, right? For the Project Gaia book. That's what they were all used for. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's go here first, I guess. This is where I ran into to escape them. Or try to. And then stuff activated. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably so noticed like that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. No. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. Nope. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. I don't think it did. Somebody tampered with it. Full steam ahead. Got so much to read. Should probably catch up at some point. Get all the lore. The delicious lore. Is that another data point? No. Look at this thing. Oh, goodness. Alright, uh, where do I want to go? I want to go to the other rooms, I guess. I saw another room. Got the door there, I don't want to go there. Um, put some more health over here. I've got very little health now, so... If I die and I have to do all that again, I will scream. Oh no, wait, I've got... I've got four health potions, I forgot. I did become- I did come prepared. Nothing else? Alright. Onwards then, I guess. Woo-wee! Oh. Am I hearing singing? I've seen these shapes before. In cauldrons. But of course. What shapes? The birthing places of Gaia's machines. What shapes are you on about? Shapes? Shapes? What shapes? Shapes? Okay. Oh. Oh, it's just water. Like, am I gonna fall down? No, there's nothing here. It's 
just making sure. So I gotta go up. Oof! Oh my goodness. There's someone. Deathbringer gun. Oh, we're just above where we were. Okay. Nothing here. Yeah, you. Give me some health boat. Oh, I don't want desert glass. There's one thing. Oh, I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. Uh oh. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Keep looking. I will. More eclipse. Careful now. Hmm. Crap. Um, I'm going this way first. Because there was a thing. Oh, I can't because it's... Oh, fine. I'll eclipse first. I'll do some more eclipsing. Get it while I can. Whoa, shut up. How many are there? Sniper. Dredger. Not too many at the moment, but... down here hollow projector welcome to Apollo the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations All right. I am Samina Ebaji until recently I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, zettabyte. Spanish and Arabic. Third, the transfer and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. Mm -hmm. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. Oh, there's one and with a... All of this lost. The development the of the greatest gift to us. ...and gamified curricula. Greatest? By which How about the fact we exist at all? Apollo. To abide in progressively ignorance is unlocking curse, boy. learning modules. Why do they the talk through each other? System. It's really irritating. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. I'm just gonna go for Not it. Just the yeah. preservation of the past. Just yolo it. So they look. Is upon us! Death is upon you. Come on, keep moving. I will teach you to bleed. No, you will not. Damn right you're down. Ah, yeah, move. Shadow, thank you. Shadow, shut up you. Shadow, kill you. The shadow gives you strength. Ah. Use it. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. 
fear the power of the I don't think so. Uh, Move in. Nah. Oh, there you are. Stop shooting me with eyes. Oh, my nerve. Oh. oh, I can go up here. Okay, cool. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I think it's just one left now. Where are you, little shit? Oh, there you are. Oh, you're doing that. No, fuck off. The last of them. In what should have been a cave of wonders. All right. I hate that. I hate that some of them just have um, like six metal shards. It's like thanks a bunch. Oh god, what was that? You're still moving. I I didn't like that. Can you not? No, I don't want the death ring again. No. Resources. And um, where do I need to go? This way? Or is this where I came from? She wouldn't stop yammering on upstairs. Uh, there's nothing here. Oh. I think I need to go up. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Fire striker. Oh, is that what that is? Can I take them? Oh, they're on the other side. Okay. Yeah, so I have more shrooms. Thank you. Yeah, I need to go up. Okay. Oh, goodness. I guess. There's another data point here. Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory, a falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't that? an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever mm. assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks. By throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world, listening to this message, please know that I am sorry. And that I wish you well. Thank Sincerely, you. Sincerely, Aaron Harris. Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? 
Just bump crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. Oh, no. I mean, <gasps> imagine you're Gaia 200 years from now and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now, what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocating. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. <laughs> so welcome to Hades. Shut up. Welcome to the void. I really hate him. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh titan, getting worshipped by the eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. Is she not allowed to uh, ask these questions to herself? Silence? You could just stay silent. Um, so that's, pretty, that's another one that blows my mind if you think about it. So how many times has Hades destroyed the world so Gaia could start over again? That is also terrifying. But I guess he wants Aloy dead because she looks like Elizabeth. And he thinks that she'll be the end of him. Because basically, she's the opposite of, of Hades. Because um, she made Pro Project Gaia. More info! I haven't had enough noise complaints. I don't care about Travis. He can die in a fire. Oh, he did! Ha <laughs> ha! Too bad, huh? Hades protocol. Oh. So, does that mean we can shut him down? Archive abuse. Oh. Well, we're going further down. Looks like the only way onwards. I'm a little bit worried. I'm just gonna scan ahead. Oh. It's from previous battles. I don't think they'd be this far down, right? Another one? Are these the cryo chambers? What I, what I think they are. Artificial wombs. Machines to spawn a new generation of human beings. Wow. Cradle sealed. Is that why they call it Mother's Cradle? Because they, they picked up these words. And what happened to Apollo? Alright, there's another jigger over here. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. Okay. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. 
Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The mm. genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Clone. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances. We're a clone. But as one of the authors of the Accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. Mm. Oh. Global collation and provisional storage Whoa. of zygotes. What happened to your voice? Of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors. To provide nurture and inculcation during early child development, all of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. Let us begin. So we are a clone. Everybody's everybody's a clone. I already looked at this. You got nothing to say about that, Aloy? I mean, you know. Cradle facilities. There you go. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. I guess that's where Elizabeth the hatch will be. wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Yep. That's what we're gonna do. Woo! Wee! No? Not we? Oh, we're going up. Okay. I wanted to go down because there's a ladder there, but... No! Fuck you! Go up. No time for your sass. Okay. Just making sure everybody's still dead. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? Gaia. Of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. Hmm. Alright. So did things fuck up because of that? Oh my goodness, so much information to process. That would benefit from antilopony morphologies, though capric forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek. As I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... uncountably sad. But they 
passed forever into oblivion causes me to experience a grief that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. Yeah, but then if, if Gaia is able to learn emotion, then Hades will also learn, but the, in the opposite direction. He will want to destroy everything. He will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Ooh, Prime. Is it? May I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Gaia, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. Oh, there we're at this point. Dead, in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you... Well, God, it must be terrifying. Um, I don't know where to go. Where's my marker? Where do I need to go? Find the entrance. Oh, I'm not there yet. Oh crap, I thought I was. No? Yeah, pry open door. Nice, we're in. They're still arguing outside. Odyssey has failed. This will be useful later. Yeah, it will. What is this? Nothing? Alright. Our team is status. Is that it? Examine Elizabeth Sobek's terminal. Oh, I can only do it from this side? Right. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Excellent. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. Shut up. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Oh. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. Yeah. You're too valuable. And how do I do that? Oh, goody. No, 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 no. Come on. Still alive. Good. 
I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> Great. Just what I want. Oh, good. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. Oh, I'm here. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Oh, your focus. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? Um... Rust. See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. No. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. Mm. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. All right. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, mm -hmm. meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you here so that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Okay. Everything as it was meant to be, predestined and preordained. All right. Some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings. A pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you? Or its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then you just cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place. Come on, get on exactly with it. Exactly where it belongs. I don't care what you have to say. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, 
I sent messengers into the east. Oh, great. To rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. You know what I do like? Because his voice sounded really weird through the uh, focus, right? Like really evil. And he kind of sounded weird when he tried to kill me at first. I, I don't know if it's the same voice actor. I'll have to watch your back and, and have a good listen. But I like that his voice is normal. Because usually they give these killers like a really gruff voice or a really like evil voice. And he just sounds normal and well spoken. Which I kind of approve of. Anyway. Um, they cast me out. The Nora cast me out at birth. You're not hurting me if you hurt them. Really? Then it makes no difference one way or another. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the oh, network. Oh, get on. Communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Uh huh. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? It's alright. And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Oh, I'm in the sun ring. Oh, I don't want to fight. Karja faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Meridian ours once more. Uh -huh. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Oh, good. Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? No. Many years ago. Oh, it's gonna to corrupt him. This great ring, yep. The radiant Turan ordered many faithless, crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! How am I gonna do this? Oh, good. Can I have my, uh, my staff? Um, good. On the platform, there's no way out of this ring. Yeah, maybe I could use the strength against it. Strength against it? What do you mean? How? Ah, I'm stuck. Whoa! Oh, he can't get me here. Oh no, he can't get me here. Move. Oh, to yeah, do that. That's it. One more pillar, and that platform will come down. Ah, but I also don't want to die. I also don't want to die. 
I also don't want to die. I should try luring the behemoth into the pillars. I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. One more pillar, that one. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Get it. Boy. Ah, hi. You don't have time for this, Aloy. Come on. We're not hey, in Gladiator. Ah. Guess who got a weapons back? No. Gladiator's a big, dumb target. No, Come she's not! She's not! She's not! <laughs> Don't say that! No, no! no. See, you have to say something! That is something. Looks important. Oh, move, 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 move. Silence! 
Yeah, he's, he's elsewhere. No more, please. No, come on. No! Kill her. <laughs> I just... No! What's gonna happen? Oh! What was that? Somebody breaking in. I like that. Oh! Silence! Finally! Yeah, bitch! Yes! Yes! Haha, <laughs> fuck you, dude. Audi! Oh, 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 he can override them too. Yeah. Okay, I like that. I was about to get ultra salty, but... Alright. Now what? So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Uh-huh. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Aww. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Hmm. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Huh. Wait. Yes? Hmm. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. Right. I had to destroy a corrupter to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through the focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. I'm not gonna... Uh, ask him about all of his uh, machine parts? Helis recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Hmm. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. Alright. I'll contact you later. Bye. In the meantime... Thanks for helping me out, should though. Should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. Oh, cool. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy. When you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn Bunker, I was needlessly cruel. No. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Thank you. Yeah! Yeah to you too. Well, off we go then, I guess. Wow, a lot happened there. 
ultra long episode this time. Um, I really need to save somewhere. That's what I want to do. Uh, there's a fire. Uh, fi I was going to say it again. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, cool. So I want to save here. No, 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 stop. I still know how to stop you. I'd like to stop. Level 30 after all that? Wow. Stop! How do I stop you? Oh, it's the... Oh. Circle is stop. <laughs> Alright. Can I get off? I have to go to all mother. I want to... I want to get off you. I want to save. Thank you. Nice. Right. Well, a shit ton happened there. Um, yeah, so this episode is super long. I'm sorry about that, I guess. But it was necessary. I, yeah, it just kept going. And there was so much information. So Project Zero Dawn was not what it seemed. Project Gaia was a artificial intelligence that basically rebirthed the Earth. We don't know how many times. And Hades was the program to destroy it all. In case Gaia messed it up. Um, and then we met Silence. And we met Helis again. And uh, a lot of shit's gone down. I, I gotta process this. I gotta process this. There's a lot of stuff. I'll, I'll probably come back to it all in the next episode. But I need to sit and think about everything for a bit. And oh yeah, we're a clone. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Uh, it's more likely now than ever. Oh god, and the Nora's gonna get slaughtered. Yay! <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me. If you sat through all that, I'm sure you have, because it was very exciting. And, um... Let me know what you think, what thoughts you have about the story so far, because it is all unfolding rapidly now. And uh, what do you think of Silence? He's a gem, isn't it? Mm, yes. I mean, I'd love to slap his face, although I do really like his uh, his braiding in his skin. That's very cool. <sighs> Thank you so much. Please leave a like, leave a comment. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you when I see you. Mm.